Hey what's up YouTube, it's Story of Sam and welcome back to a brand new NBA video today here on the channel and today I'm going to be talking about if the Phoenix Suns are a serious threat in the Western Conference, how far I think they can make it in the West, and also just why they've improved so much over the offseason. If you guys are brand new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and of course make sure to drop a like on today's video, that would be great. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. So the Phoenix Suns this year have been a very very surprising team in my opinion. When they originally got Chris Paul, I wasn't a huge fan of the move, I thought it was like a pretty good move, but I still didn't think it helped them enough to actually make a difference in the Western Conference, but as of right now, the Phoenix Suns are definitely a much, much better team than they were the last season, of course. They went undefeated in the bubble, 8 games, 0 losses. Without Chris Paul, they added more nice pieces around DeAndre Ayton and Devin Booker, especially Chris Paul and Jay Crowder were very, very good pickups. And right now, they're like a 4 or a 5 seat in the Western Conference, so right now, I want to think about how far can they actually go will they maintain this type of play and just how good are they actually as a team so first let's just start out with how good they are and i think they are probably the fourth or fifth best team in the western conference probably the fifth i would still have clippers lakers jazz and the nuggets over them as like better teams in the conference but i do think these suns are the next best team so i would put them as my five seed right now to predict for where they're going to end up if they're the five seed they would probably have a 4-5 or five matchup with Denver, assuming Denver is the 4 seed. Of course, this is all predictions. I'm not too sure where they're actually going to end up. But assuming it's a 4-5 or five matchup with the Denver Nuggets, I definitely think the Suns could upset the Nuggets and make some noise in the playoffs. The addition of Chris Paul is just huge. Chris Paul just makes such an impact. His stats might not be amazing, but just overall... His impact on the game cannot be put into a stat sheet. Of course, when he joined the Oklahoma City Thunder, they had like a 0.2% chance to make the playoffs. And when the season ended, they were the five seed, almost beating the James Harden and Russell Westbrook Houston Rockets, taking that series to seven games. So definitely, Chris Paul's impact on the Phoenix Suns cannot be understated, no matter how his stats look. He has definitely helped that team out a ton, especially because they're such a young team. Devin Booker's been doing his thing, averaging 24.4 points a game. Chris Paul, right under 17 points a game. Now, I am a little bit disappointed. I thought DeAndre Ayton could average more than like 14, 15 points a game. I thought he could be in like 18, 19 points a game, but still he's averaging 12.3 rebounds a game. Mikhail Bridges has been a very nice surprise, averaging 14 points a game, shooting very, very well from the three-point line, just overall having very efficient stats, being a good 3 and D player for the Suns. I think Jay Crowder was another really good pickup. Of course, he was on the Miami Heat last year, a great defender, and sometimes he's really good at the three-point line, but he's going to give you that defensive effort every single game. He'll give you like 10 or 11 points a game, and that's all the Suns team needs. This this team is really really good but i still don't see them winning multiple playoff series i think the most they can go is the second round i think they could beat like a four or five matchup if they are the five seed but beyond that i don't see them beating either la team or the jazz and even the nuggets are kind of stretched so definitely the suns have a great squad right now but i don't think it's enough to get them over the hump but still they are definitely a team you do not want to face in the playoffs the suns are definitely not going to be an easy out for anyone in the first round of the playoffs of course chris paul just wins wherever he goes chris paul has been a winning player for a long time now he might not have any championships but still Teams that Chris Paul goes to are just significantly better than when they are without him. They have a great coach in Monty Williams, and just overall, this team's built really, really well. Of course, Mikael Bridges, Jay Crowder, and of course, the trio, DeAndre Ayton, Devin Booker, and Chris Paul. I would like to see some better numbers out of DeAndre Ayton, but still, they're winning games, and that's all that matters. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video on are the Suns a serious threat in the Western Conference. Now, honestly, I think they can be right now, but I don't think they're actually going to win that many playoff series. I think they're going to win probably one playoff series, but they are still definitely a threat to knock out like a Jazz, Lakers, or a Clippers team, or even the Denver Nuggets. They are definitely still a threat, but I still don't see them as like a top three team in the Western Conference, but still, they are definitely very, very good this season. Make sure to drop a comment down below how far you think the Suns will make it in the playoffs, and also what seed will they end up being at the end of the regular season. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below we are on the road to 2,000 subscribers and of course make sure to drop a like that helped me out a ton and if you guys do want to watch more of my nba or nba 2k videos i'm going to leave it on screen right when this video finishes to two of my previous uploads that i think you guys would really really enjoy so have a great rest of your day guys it's been story of sam and i'm out peace